The history of Portola, California, is a relatively short one, but it is rich in the history of the logging and railroad industries in the northern Sierra Nevada mountains. The area that is now Portola was first settled in the 1850s by James Beckworth, a fur trapper and explorer of mixed African-American and American Indian heritage. Beckworth built a cabin in the area and established a trading post. In the late 1800s, the area began to be logged for its abundant pine and fir trees. The first logging camp in the area was called Headquarters, and it was located near the present-day site of Portola. The camp grew quickly, and by 1900, there were several sawmills operating in the area. In 1905, the Western Pacific Railroad began construction of a line through the Feather River Canyon. The WPR depot was built in the headquarters area, and the town soon began to grow around it. The town was originally called Mormon Junction, but it was renamed Amola in 1908. In 1910, Virgilia Bogue, the daughter of a prominent local engineer for the WPR, suggested the name Portola for the town. The name was chosen in honor of Gaspar de Portola, the Spanish explorer who led the first European expedition to California in 1769. The town of Portola continued to grow in the early 1900s, and it was incorporated in 1914. The town's economy was based on logging and the railroad, and it was a major shipping point for lumber and other goods. The logging industry declined in the mid-20th century, but the railroad remained a major employer in Portola. The WPR was merged with the Union Pacific Railroad in 1982, and the Portola Depot is still a major crew change point for up trains. Today, Portola is a small town with a population of about 2,100 people. The town is a popular destination for outdoor recreation, and it is home to the Western Pacific Railroad Museum, one of the largest railroad museums in the western United States.